We all like playing games on computer and specifically using a keyboard and mouse for these games cause of course when you play on a computer you gotta have a keyboard and mouse but instead of using a regular keyboard when you use a gaming grade keyboard or mouse that feels much better and those who have the first hand experience they know what I'm talking about however Getting a keyboard mouse that is gaming grade, it's expensive. We all know that, right? And since it is expensive, not everyone can actually afford it. However, there are some companies who decided that even though the keyboard mouse is not gaming grade, they're gonna make him look like gaming grade. So here I have a keyboard and a mouse, which is not a combo, but they do look like gaming even though they are not gaming and by the end of the review i'll give you my full honest reason why you should or why you should not bother even spending your money on this hey there everyone welcome back to my channel gamerlsk here and today we'll be doing a review on a cheap combo pair of keyboard and mouse that is not gaming but looks kinda gaming. Let's get into it. So let's begin the review of the keyboard and mouse. Keyboard comes first. The keyboard here is Intex Keyboard Jumbo USB Heavy Duty Keyboard. Damn that name though. I mean seriously, I know it's a keyboard and they mentioned the word keyboard twice. Well, the packaging is not something, you know, great. It's just a plain old cardboard box inside of which the keyboard is wrapped with a thin layer of plastic. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. You just open the damn keyboard, just play it, you place it in or you just let it be outside. But when you flip it around, they have mentioned some specifications like plug and play, USB 2.0, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, fine, we all know that. And there's also this blue uh, sticker or splash design mentioning spill resistant. So I'm kind of skeptical about that, but I mean, this keyboard cost me around just 300 or even less, I don't remember properly. But claiming that this keyboard has spill resistant, I don't know, man. I ain't gonna buy it. Well, now that we talk about the aesthetic and design wise, it looks good from afar, but when you hold it in hand, it's cheap. I mean, even you guys can see from the video, not clearly, I mean, when you see those blue highlighted keys, WASD and the arrow keys, they look great. Anyone would admit it when you keep it in a showcase far behind you know your own reach but now when you see it up close the plastic does not feel you know up to the mark even if it's 300 I know it's way too you know cheap but I mean come on man this is way too much this is literally I mean when I first held this keyboard on hand I was just like damn it's so light there's absolutely nothing in it it's just empty but yeah, it's kind of okay. I won't complain too much. I mean, basically, it is my daily driver. But yeah, this WSD and uh, the arrow keys with the design and all, they look kind of gamerish, even though it's not a game keyboard. So yeah, you can be like, uh, I don't have a gaming keyboard, but I have a keyboard that looks kind of gaming like. I mean, look at the design, the side and all. It looks good. But it's not worth it really and the key presses they are really mushy it's too soft I mean it feels as if uh, if I press too hard the keys will just go in and won't never come out but honestly as bad as it sounds it performs okay I won't you know as I said I won't complain too much about this guy because it's my daily driver and I don't feel like you know playing on a laptop chiclet keyboard this is much better so 
yeah that's basically you know my review of this keyboard this so-called gaming looking non-gaming keyboard that cost me just 300 rupees it's cheap it's dirt cheap but now let's move on to the mouse as i said i bought a combo right so this here my friends is index click optical mouse and wow it the name is so crazy and when you flip over the box the packing is simple it's revealing which is good because the design just comes out and you get a little intrigued but when you flip over the box there it is 1000 dpi optical sensor wow and um, I use this mouse okay I'm playing basically some games like of course you guys know I play Minecraft so there it is don't tell me don't roast me in the comments but yeah the mouse is kind of wonky it's not exactly correct it's a little messed up uh, but it gets the job done and uh, the buttons are okay it's same uh, plug-and-play system design wise it looks gamerish and they had made those holes which reflect the red LED from it within I mean it does not have any you know RGB but they intentionally made it like that so that um, it will reflect that red light out from the mouse which kind of looks cool they were really clever in that part now when you go and check the scroll wheel it's kind of um, ridged so it feels really good to scroll on it and uh, it's not the free scroll it's kind of you know the I don't know how to say it but scroll feels good the buttons however they're also okay they click nice they have a nice clickness clicky uh, I literally said clickness they uh, have the nice clicky vibe to it so I kind of feel like uh, like it but when I compare it to the keyboard and mouse that I have back at home the Logitech MK200 well these guys don't hold a candle to it that is much better I mean it's way too better even though I got extremely triggered while I was playing uh, getting over it with that mouse so at least this mouse that mouse is much better than this one so basically the keyboard uh, I mean the mouse has good ergonomics it feels good it just you know fits snug but yeah since it's a little edgy long-term uses might you know kind of hurt your hand a little bit I mean when I was holding this keyboard this place where index was written it was kind of poking through my palm so it was kind of annoying but overall when you hold it it feels nice so yeah I will definitely I mean for 200 rupees it's okay so what's my review for this particular combo not a combo but this particular keyboard and mouse set well it's cheap it gets the work done it looks gamerish even though they are not gaming uh, related hardware and these two are cheap and when I say cheap it's dirt cheap so I'm happy with it I mean uh, personally I'm a gamepad guy I mean uh, I don't know if you guys know but I basically play uh, games on my PSP whose review I'll also put soon enough I just don't have my any of my hardware here especially camera stands and all and I don't feel like you know grabbing a camera stand and just you know messing around in the PG that I'm staying I mean this is cramped up as it is I don't want to make it even more cramped but yeah I'm basically a gamepad handle console gamer retro type I'm not much into PC gaming given the fact that I did not own a good PC earlier I didn't actually own a PC but this keyboard mouse feels good um, I say you can buy it if you have no other options but if you can spend around 500 more if you spend around 1000 you can go for Marvel Scorpion or Dragon War at least it's much better than this but yeah even Cosmic Byte is there Cosmic Byte might be around 1200 for a keyboard mouse set 
the keyboard i don't even remember the names but it's costing on 700 or 800 it also has backlit this does not has any backlit so yeah basically my review is if you have no other option if you had to get this you have you, you can go with it but if not please do not buy it this ain't worth your money 500 rupees spend on a pizza eat it live happy life that's much better 500 rupees spend on this even though you had options please die with that said game my lsk signing off keep on gaming friends